Whenever I think about database transactions, the first thing I think about is using acid. Not that kind of acid. I'm talking about atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. These are all huge concerns when you're building a database which is going to be scalable. How are you going to make sure that your transactions are going to remain consistent throughout the database? This is where the argument for NoSQL versus SQL comes in. For those of you who don't know, NoSQL is a way that you can store information without having a set schema for it. You could essentially take a object in JavaScript and drop it directly into the database. Whereas with SQL, you have to have a set schema with set types and parameters for how that data interacts with other pieces of data in that database. And the advantage of using NoSQL is that you don't have to do all of the planning that's required to make a database store your data. Whereas with SQL, you have to create defined schemas in order for you to ingress your data. And ingress is a fancy way of saying bring in that data into the database. So if NoSQL is so good and you don't have to do all of that extra work up front, why do people still use SQL? I'll tell you. NoSQL is not necessarily ACID compliant. It queues all of the changes that are required to be made to the database rather than doing them all at once. In SQL, if you do all of the changes at once and one of them fails, it will be rolled back. This ensures that the database remains consistent. So should you use NoSQL or SQL? NoSQL is good for scaling, but scaling problems don't come in until you have millions and millions of users. Most applications never hit this mark. And when they do, they often use a combination. Take Reddit, for instance. They use Postgres for all of their important mission-critical information, and then they use Cassandra for their upvotes, because if a few upvotes go missing, it's not the end of the world. If you're at all interested in this topic, I really recommend that you read through this Reddit thread below because it teaches a lot about the different trade-offs that you have to make when you're choosing your databases. I personally always use SQL for all of my projects unless there is a need to use NoSQL. So hope this helps guys and I can't wait to see the applications that you're going to be building.